So hello everyone, this is Gaurav here. Welcome to the uh, Decode the Code. And today we are solving this uh, lead code question 1752. It, it is a easy level question. And the question states that uh, we have to check whether the array is sorted and rotated. So uh, basically you can read the prompt, but uh, I will just jump to the question, what it is asking and uh, what should be the solution of this question. So basically we have this nums array which have these number of elements which is 3, 4, 5, 1 and 2. So basically we have to uh, tell whether this array is sorted and rotated or not. And to, we have to check that uh, by uh, uh, in a big of n time because the array could be very large. Uh, if you see the constraints, so if I show you like array is very small. You can do it in a brute force. Brute force way also but uh, I will show you the best and optimized way to solve it and that would be uh, so let me take some example and then explain you what is a sorted array and what is a rotated array. So if I uh, take 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5 then if I just rotate this array at 3 it, it should be rotated like this 3, 4, 5 and 1 and 2. So uh, this whole part we cut it down and take it here. So this is what we call it a rotated array. So whenever an array is sorted and it is rotated at a particular point, the whole array is divided into two parts and the both the part will be uh, actually uh, sorted. So you, as you can see that this is one part which is created and this is one part which is uh, uh, which is also a sorted one. So this this array, if this is the input to us, this is a valid, it, it, it is valid because it is uh, rotated as well as it is rotated as well as sorted also because they are uh, two sorted part. So what this, uh, the same thing that has asked in the question that uh, true if error was already sorted in non-decreasing error, like sorted, then uh, ascending order, then rotated some number of positions. So, uh, it should be rotated at some number of positions. So it means that it should be sorted, but it will be, it is a rotated one. Okay, so see this example, which I told you. Uh, so this is one like three, four, uh, five, one and two. This is particularly rotated at index three. As you can see that if I write it originally array, it should be like this one, two, three, four and five. And this whole part is uh, taken out and put it into the front of this question. And so it is correct. So one thing you notice here is that you see this example. And in this, this example, you will see that there is only one violation when the array is rotated. How? When the array is sorted and it is uh, rotated at some point, it is divided into two sorted parts. This sorted path and this, this sorted path. So you see there is only one violation, which uh, what is that violation is that uh, the particular number is greater than the front number. It would be only happen, only happen one times when the array is sorted and rotated. Why? You can see a uh, uh, dry run it and you can see taking the array and rotating it and then checking it. So here also you see there is five, which is greater than the front element. That should not be happen. Uh, because uh, in the sorted array that that would be not the case but this array is sorted but it is also a rotated one that's why we have one violation you see the second case which is a edge case that we have to handle it in our question and that would be you see that 2 1 3 4 so basically what happened if i just write this array in a right order so this is 1 2 3 4 so it is written like 2 1 you see that even though if I just rotate at 2, 1, uh, what will happen? 2, 3, 1, uh, 4 and 1 will be cup. So this is what the rotated part. But as you can see, 2 is coming into the front, but it is it is not rotated. It is, it, is a, it, is, it is a wrong array. If it is rotated at 2, then 2 will come. But after that, this array should come. Okay, this is what the case. But even though if I just what the algorithm I have told you, if I apply that algorithm uh, to count the, uh, if, if, I'm, if we will count the number of violation, then also you will see that in this case also, you see this part is sorted and this part is sorted. 
so there is only one violation in this case which is the two but that is not the case it is returning false but we will return true why that is the case because when the array is rotated you see that this last position and this first position is the last position is always always smaller than the this one why it would be because you see one two three four and five where if i just rotate at this point i know that this will be going to be the end and if i just put this into the front of this it would be like three four five one and two and if it if it the if it is the case then you see that this last element should always be smaller than this element the first element because we have rotated at some point uh, after that which comes into the front uh, so this should be less than but here it is not happening you see that 4 is actually greater than the first element means that uh, uh, we have not rotated this array at a correct position also uh, there is no sorted array once rotate uh, rotation uh, that can make nums so you can see that this is there is no sorted array so that we can again do that do some rotation and get the same array even though if i just do some other rotations also we will we cannot achieve this array where in this part you can see that even though if i just rotate this part and make it into the front of this we can achieve the array the original array the original sorted array even though if i just rotate uh, rotate any part of this for example if i rotate 1 3 4 or if i rotate uh, 1 3 uh, uh, I actually we cannot rotate one three. We have to rotate the full full sub arrays. So if I just rotate it at three, or I can rotate at one, I can rotate at four, I can rotate at two. So even though if I rotate at one three four, we are not getting a sorted array. But here in this case, we are getting a sorted array. Even if I rotate one two, this is a simple case which is actually sorted but not rotated. It is rotated at zero position. If you rotate any array at that zero index, you will get the same array only. So that is what, that is what the case. So let me code it down. So we are coding it the, into the Python, but the logic is similar. You can program it in any language you want. So let me uh, take a count, which will uh, tell me the violation. So it will be initially zero. It is like violation. Okay, uh, let me loop to the array which is i in i in range of length of nums. And if the nums of i, as you can see, we have to see that which part is violating. So if the nums of i uh, is uh, greater than uh, your nums of i plus one element, then we have to increment the count. And we have to go till this last index. But when we go to this last index, you see that the nums value, which is which will go till this index, and we are every time go doing this i plus one. So at the last index, it will be violated. The index out of bound will, error will come. So to deal with that, because at a, at this index, the i plus one should be this first index. So I will just mod this with the length of the nums, and this is a concept where when we go out of bound, we can just mod it with the length of the nums. So here the the length will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I just, this is 4, uh, the 4 length. If I mod any number with 4, it will be only come in like 0, 1, 2, 3. This index will come. Come only. When I was modding with this particular, uh, uh, like the whole length. So it is like 5, sorry. It, is, it will come like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because the length is 5. So that is what the case and it is true. We, we can do that. Okay, count and we just have to return the count if it is less than equals to one only return true else it is not return anything like return false so let me see whether it is working it is working fine let me submit it and it is accepted so as you can see that uh, we are getting a good time complexity and uh, the memory complexity is a very easy question for you guys uh, but uh, the the thing that i want to tell you through this video uh, is that uh, it is a simple question and the last thing that i would uh, like to tell is that uh, whatever language you are doing uh, all the languages have their own benefits like the python have a 
memory advantage even though if you run this program in c++ the uh, the the runtime for this will be zero millisecond but the memory will be very high as compared to the python so python is optimized for the memory c++ is optimized for the runtime that is all about uh, 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 like what you are using there is no difference everyone have a, their own benefit so this is all about this question uh, thank you everyone for watching this video if you like it please hit the like button and subscribe the channel if you want it uh, i will not force anyone to subscribe it so thank you uh, once again uh, we will meet you in the next video with another lead code question